today's tale. She's just playing Battletech once again, and today we are going to go with a whole bunch of trebuchets. So I'm going to try, I'm continuing my theme of lots of rockets. The old trebuchets are going to get a bit of a workout today. I've got Witness and Agena to do my sensor lock work for me. And we're probably going to, I would love to get up on this hill. Please tell me I can get up on that hill. If I get up on this hill, it'll be glorious raining of fire. So I'm playing on the stacks map, which gives you this huge hill here. And if I can get my Jenna to just sit here, and if I can just get probably... Hmm. We might have to come up against this uh, little bit of ridge here. would like to be able to fire from here. This fit that I've got with the three trebuchets and a Jenna actually comes in pretty close to the medium cost. Um, of 20 million. I think I was about 9.8, which uh, really surprised me actually. Now I suspect I cannot run up this hill, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do the long way. I played the cavalry on this map, and because you could jump, we kind of uh, cut out a lot of this running. This running will be amazing because anything that needs to come at me has to come up through this hill. I wonder if there's got to be a route up around here somewhere, right? This doesn't look all that promising for the AI. So I don't know if you can run up this. Be interesting if you could. Witness, do you want to just uh, maybe sit tight? I might want to pull back a little with Witness because I don't want this. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen because the more, t the sooner that I get enemy contacts, the more it's going to slow down my running up here. So I'm going to have to sprint, probably another turn. They're not going to be able to fire their missiles, although I could slowly walk up, I guess. Depends how far we can fire missiles. I don't think we can fire them that far. Very interesting. So let's see. You're pretty safe here for now, so we're going to just... Uh, actually, you know what? We can back you up just a little. Probably better to back you up now than later. Uh, simply because we have the run space now. Ooh, and their light is towards the front. I have no idea what the enemy have. I just, um, I just random them. I just random them a lot of times if I don't want to do any work for the AI. So they've got two lights, a medium and a heavy. And obviously I have one light and three mediums. I still think my three mediums are going to do a lot of work. The trebuchets actually, how much armor do they have? They've got, mm, not great armor, right? They're... You hit them anywhere but the center torso, the bits are falling off pretty quick. Okay, so we can already fire from back here. That is pretty much insane. What kind of hit rate would we have here? We would have 55s. Okay, how much ammo do we have? We've got a fair bit, 240. I would like a bit more than that, obviously. We're just going to... I think we're going to hug the side of this thing. It does give them shots against me at some point. But uh, for now... I think we'll just drop some rounds. 50 to hit. Do I want to drop rounds? You know what? Hmm, although he is... He is guarded. You know what? We won't do a lot of damage to him, but we might do some stability issues here. And, and look at the... Look at the trajectory of these missiles. They're like, whoop, boom. Alright, how do we do? <laughs> okay, that was pretty pitiful, right? Yeah, a couple of damage here and there. Not all that hot, though. Be interesting to see. I suppose once the trebuchets run out of ammo, we're down to uh, the lasers here, which will be very interesting to see how those go. I mean, against the heavy, it depends what heavy they're rocking. Could be all sorts of things in here. We're going to keep dropping rounds on the commando. I would uh, love to get him all sorts of damaged up. My Jenna is better than the commando. So I can kind of fight a little with that. Once we get a position on this hill, we'll be able to shoot a lot better down into here. I think we're going to have to skyline a little, which I don't like so much, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. And this guy has got some serious issues now. He's getting pretty close to knockdown. Damn close, actually. Be interested to see what their heavy is. Uh, 65 tons... Sadly, I'm not a, uh, I'm not the best of, uh, best of mech warrior memorizers or battle tech. So 
I don't quite know what they have. Um, can I? I can jump in this, Jenna. So we might just jump back into the trees over here. So I'm going to jump over here so that I can remain with this big block thing in my way. So they have to kind of come into here to shoot at me. We're going to sensor lock up the commando once again. Probably ram a few more rounds into him. He will probably come closer to us as well, which should be kind of nice. All right, that's probably... What did that be? 50 tons. A hunchback? It's got to be maybe a hunchback with uh, with strategy. So maybe they've got a light, two mediums, and a heavy. Hmm. All right, where can we get to? We can get to here and direct fire. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. So we've got tree cover. We've got 95 to hit this guy. He is uh, entrenched here and guarded, so it's only going to do half the damage here. And we're doing about... What are we doing here? Hmm. Doing quite a fair bit of our missiles. I think it's about... Uh, what would it be? It would be 30 missiles ago. Yeah, so that was... So there's a hunchback here. This is probably a hunchback. Um, interesting. It is going to be... Very interesting. All right, so that gives us... I want to get a little bit closer, so this guy is at least 70s to hit. Uh, he's got dodge going on, evasion, so I'm not going to fire into him. Don't want to waste... Uh, I mean, we're already 50% here, whereas this would be 25% and evasion. So I think that would not be worth... We are slowly grinding down this poor old commando, though. He is not so impressed. By the amount of uh, fire that he's taken. In fact, he is about to lose it. Oh, he lost an arm. Right arm gone. The guy is knocked around. In fact, he lost. That's actually worse for him. Because now he's going to take a little bit more damage. I'm here. Uh, so let's get you boys over here as well. So yeah, it is about, it's about 30 missiles around. So we have about, what's that, 7 rounds of firing. I think we can do a fair bit of damage in those seven rounds. We're going to go for the center torso. Maybe we'll pop off this right torso as well. Um, we'll see. We will see how we do. Spread out a bit more damage. Yep, there goes the right torso. It's gone. The center torso is... Whoa, in a dire state. Be interested to see what their heavy mech is. Interesting indeed. So witness here. You're going to keep backing up, buddy. Um, unfortunately, you're probably about to get shot at. I think, where's the furthest I can get you that's kind of comfortable? Here? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we've still got this big thing in the way. We're going to sensor lock back here. These guys have to keep dragging themselves forward. So it's pretty ugly days for them. At some point, we will be able to get the Jenna into uh, shooting as well. The Jenna's got a couple of short-range missiles. So we'll be able to do a bit of damage with that, hopefully, before it goes down. Cover, garden, trench. This guy is sucking up a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So if I look at the Jenna... Uh, yeah, so we've got an SRM-4 and a lot of medium lasers. Not bad. Uh, we'll probably fire with Kraken. Who's got... Who's got the best hit chances here? Uh, can we... Uh, oh, really? I was about to say, can we really fire with... Ah, uh, so it looks like we could have come up at this hill. Hmm. Okay. I could get... Where can I get to that I can... Oh, I can direct fire from here. I will probably take that. It's a shame we can't quite use our missile... Our, uh, our uh, medium lasers just yet. If we slot one round into that center torso, he is gone. So we're probably going to lose vision here. If, yep, down he goes. Down and out. So next up, I guess we're going to start on one of these hunchbacks that are towards the front. I'd love to know what their heavy is. We've kind of just dragged them across the map so far, though. Uh, there's no real... I suppose if this was a... If we were playing the single player and this was probably a longer match than more than four mechs, we would probably be looking at running out of missiles. But uh, with the current loadout that we have, you have to get way too close there, buddy. Way too close. Uh... Hmm. Might just move up here, I think, and cover this side. We'll probably get... Uh, this guy's probably going to move forward just a little bit more at some point. We'll brace up here. We'll get some of our heat back, I guess. How are we on the heat situation? Uh, yeah, all right. 
Not bad. We'll probably just brace up with you. So we're going to get all our heat back as well. So we can just keep on dropping those missiles. Ooh, another bad guy. I wonder what their 60 ton is. It'll be interesting to see what that is. Witness. I'm going to just get you to back up all the way, buddy. Probably to the edge of the map here. That hunchback, he's going to have to do a bit of work to get to you. They are going to get to these trees soon, which will reduce a bit of that incoming damage. Maybe I should have picked on the guy at the back. Wow, he's entrenched in everything. What we might do is, depending on what they want to do, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a medium mech. It's a medium mech that gets to go in the light mech slot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve here. I'd like to see what this guy does. I suspect he's going to come up through the trees. He's probably going to entrench and guard again. Oh, he's just covering. Okay. Interesting. I would have sprinted, actually, if I was him. Not quite sure why he didn't take any sort of options. Because now he is... Uh, shame we can't quite get those medium lasers to do any work. Good thing is, is it's all on the, all on the right side. And on that right side is that big giant laser pack thing, right? Uh, ooh, what is this? We might finally get to see what the heavy is. No? Okay. Still can't see what the heavy is. Hmm, is there? I really would like direct fire. Direct fire, I mean, if we fire from here, right, we get 80. But if we were to direct fire, we would get... Uh, ooh, we can fire the medium lasers as well. <gasps> I'm definitely taking that. Hopefully, I don't know what that's going to do for these guys back here. But as you can see, it goes from 80 to 95. So any damage we can get. And yeah, we'd love to pop that... Um, we'd love to pop that shoulder off. Since uh, he would lose a lot of his DPS through the loss of that laser pack. Uh, and he's getting knocked down. It's uh, sucking for you, buddy. Sucking for you. They do get... They do get the um, cover, though, even when they're on the ground. Hmm. What do we want to do for you? We might... Uh, where can we get to? I don't... You know what, Kraken? We might just brace you, my friend. We're going to brace you, get some of your heat back. At least we're going to come into this battle with most of our heat. About now, I could probably start reserving and seeing what these guys will do, because I could probably start getting my Jenna into this combat. So we'll see what uh, this... He's going to get up. And is he going to stroll up this hill? That will be the real question. What are you going to do? You going to come up the hill? If I get vision and he hasn't sprinted, then we'll probably just uh, unleash on him there. Just a couple of hits. Oh, we took a hit to the head. Not so great. RNG could still kill us, right? RNG could still kill us. So what we can do now is we can move up with... Uh, we don't want two to be spotting you. I like just the one. So we're going to move up here. Where's the closest that we can get? 75. How about here? Mm, that seems pretty good. What about here? Yeah, that's not too bad. That is pretty good. We'll take that and we'll unleash with the Jenna. There's no point in, uh, in sensor locking anymore. Since we're now into the range of being able to do damage. Jenna's quite nice. Like, it can do... What's this? A hundred and... A th what was SRM, was it? hundred and forty? hundred and forty damage? I mean, you're never going to do full damage with uh, with an SRM since... Oh, you might. Just RNG, really, but... Uh, it's not bad damage for a light. I think we're going to open up... Ooh, that's going to overheat us. We might just uh, relax with that medium laser there. I'd like to do maximum damage, though. Hopefully... Although, if we could shift a little, can we... How far can we get? Not quite as far as I'd like. Uh, let's have a look at you. Hmm. So you can't direct fire either. Alright, we might just drop missiles on him from up here. We're going to overheat with you. I think we're going to just start overheating. We're going to start running out of missiles soon. And I really want to come into this fight probably... Probably with uh, as much armor as I can. Not so much... Structure. I mean, if we're down to structure, things are not looking great. We could probably just... Can we just back up? Uh, we can. Hmm. You know what? It's a shame we can't inspire. I probably should have... I would have got inspired probably this turn, actually. Uh, I think we'll unleash again. We're going to overheat here. If we need to get heat back, 
We can jump behind this hill. Come on, yes. I need this to pop off, though. I need that right torso to go. Because if that right torso comes off, then we will get uh, rid of that laser, which I've seen a couple of times. Sorry about that. Just to repeat myself. Stick myself on repeat. Uh, we can get some direct fire from over here. What we might do is we might hold the LRM since he's on the ground. And we'll just fire the lasers in. 65s. You know what? That's fine. Do some work, buddy. Do some work. I would love to hit this. Um, and get rid of it. One hit will do us. Come on. One hit. That's all you need. Ah, uh, there we go. No more lasers for you, Mr. Hunchback. No more. It's not bad for us at all. I still don't know what this, uh, what this heavy mech is. The Jenna is probably going to sit where he is and just do work from there. Uh, you can probably just fire from here. Just fire everything into the center torso. Ooh, you are heating up though. Boy, are you heating up. Uh, let's do it. I don't know if the Jenna's going to make it to the end. So we're just going just gonna to do everything we can. We're nearly through that armor. Would have been nicer if the armor had gone. I'm surprised this guy's still on the ground, actually. Ah, because it was the light turn. Uh, so we might back you up. And... Just fire the missiles. Hmm. Actually, let's have a look. If I just fire missiles, how much heat does that give me? I'm pretty sure it heats me up a bit, right? Alright, we might back up and probably just, uh cool down just a little, right? Let's just back up here, cool down. The Jenna is going to have to take the brunt of this, but uh, it's not so bad. Not so bad at all. I could have probably reserved. This guy might move forward into some sort of firing arc here. No, nope. he's going to have a go at, uh, he's going to have a go at Kraken. Well, he's only got a laser left, right? So not too threatening. Not too threatening. In fact, Kraken... Maybe you can just give him a bit of laser fire. Give him the old... How much heat would you save? You are using heat. Hmm. Alright, you're gaining heat. So I think we'll just fire a little bit of... A little bit of medium laser into him. While we can. Ooh. He's looking pretty shaky. On shaky ground. Sumo. What can I do you, for? you can get there, but I'm a little concerned about how much fire you would probably take from there. In fact, Sumo... You can back up as well because you need to get some heat back. You're a little hot in there, buddy. A little hot. Just uh, cool down. Get those fans on overdrive. Still don't know what this large mech is. And... Well, this is heavy mech. Ooh. Okay, so it's something with uh, a couple of auto cannons. I'm going to guess a Jager mech by the amount of auto cannon fire that came out of there. That seemed like about four auto cannons. Uh, which would indicate a Jaeger. If I just sit tight right here... Hmm. Cannot do this, though. What can we do that would get us back some heat? Two lasers. Alright, just fire them, witness. Go for it, buddy. A little bit more damage. Ooh, 57. I don't want to overheat too much. I've still got a bit more... Bit more than I need to do, right? I don't need to start getting too wild with the overheats. Kraken, I think you might back up and stop taking so much damage. You've taken a fair bit of armor damage here. Armor. Probably get Kraken behind this hill and uh, let him just drop some missiles down, I think. So we'll get you back here, Kraken. And we'll probably just drop some, uh, drop some overhead LRMs. Because we want to get at least another mech down before we have to uh, before we have to face the music here and probably bum rush down. This is not gonna do. It's not gonna do a whole lot. I mean, 57. I'd be amazed if, uh, if it did. Wow, I am amazed. I thought it was gonna spread out a bit more, but it did a solid amount of damage to his torso. Might just drop another set of uh, LRMs down. We could probably get this guy out of here in a sec, actually. If we just drop down the LRMs. And then we'll probably be pretty close to heat ready to go in. How you doing? Not as impressive. Oh, one hit. 
One hit away. Alright, so what we're going to do is the next set of LRMs are probably going to go on this guy here, right? Although, uh, what do we got here? We have you, and we can fire... We can save our LRMs, and we could just fire some lasers at you. Chances of hitting your torso, a little bit slim, but we'll try it, I think. 55. I could have given you... Uh, I could have actually given you... Ooh, there we go, Center Torso. I could have given him an Inspire to make sure that he hits, but you know what? I'll take that. I'm pretty happy with this, uh, this, uh, strategy, technique, tactic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bad against, uh, the current AI, right? Because the current AI is just garbage, but, uh, you know what? Take anything you can get. I think what we're going to do is we're going to sprint around here. So I'm going to go for the sprint and the move. Get a bit of heat back. Ah, uh, there we go. It was a Jager mech. Uh, and maybe we can get some back shots with this heat. Hopefully they might concentrate on the Jenna. We'll see what they want to do here. Oh, punches would be bad because uh, the Jenna probably can't deal with some punches. But mm, lasers we can dodge. Reduce a bit of damage. Not bad. Ah, it didn't hit hard. Don't worry about it, witness. Don't worry about it. Because now, now we can kind of just edge forward here. Hmm, Sumo, you got you got some issues with your uh, with your heat, but uh, don't worry about it. How are we still hitting him in the side? I feel like that should be a rare shot, right? But guess not. All right, we're going to drop some LRMs in, and we're going to ease up with the uh, the lasers here. Although we can fire two, one... One laser? Alright, forget about the lasers. I don't want to overheat too much. It's going to do a lot of damage to the right side. Alright, let's just drop it in. Direct hitting, so we have maximum chance to hit here. We are stripping off armor here and there. We might have to go down for a bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat soon. Uh, because we are a little bit... Let's have a look here. What do we got? So we've got direct line of fire on the guy at the back. I will probably take that. I think we will, after this turn, probably just run down and start hand-to-handing them. Because we are gonna... We're gonna be pretty low on the heat situation. And... That Hunchback with the lasers is not too bad. I mean, he's got some sustained fire. He can do a fair bit of damage, but it's not as bad as an AC, right? Where an AC just rips an arm off. Rip him off! Yes, Although the Jagermech does have ACs, so... In saying that, we are probably up against it. We'll get these two down there, I think. Uh, we might stick in... Alright, we're going to overheat, I think. That's fine. We'll do as much damage as we can before we get on in. Imagine being this mech. All you would see is just missiles after missiles after missiles hitting you. Must be... Uh, can't be too fun, right? Cannot be too fun. Oh, here comes the AC. Oh my, that's a lot of... As you can see, I mean, he must have done, he did 237s, a couple of 18s. Oof, he probably did close to 120 odd damage. Witness, though. Uh, I would really like to hit from this side, since I know that that armor on uh, the hunchback is kind of half chewed. So we're going to get around here. I think we're going to drop our, uh, we're going to drop everything onto the shoulder if we can. And we're going to overheat for this. Because if I can pop this shoulder off, he's going to lose all those medium lasers. And we will be well in it to win it. Alright, come on. Oh, it was... No. Why am I getting so many uh, one structures today? I cannot believe how much structure I am getting here. This guy could go in for the punch now. I'd definitely go in for the punch. I wouldn't uh, unleash with my uh, lasers. But AI is just going to... He's going to just warm us up a little on that side. A few microwaves here and there. Not bad. Um, which means we're cracking sumo. I did want to come down. But I have a feeling... So I have to come down this way, right? Hmm. Hmm. That's not great. I could just fire from up here. Uh, we'll overheat a little. You know what? we got plenty of structure. Plenty of rope holding us together. So we'll just drop a few more rounds into him. Pop that arm off. Uh, probably... Ooh, 
It's a shame we don't have any jump jets. I would take a jump jet. I would take a jump jet any day of the week. I think we're going to roll in with uh, you, though. Wildfire. We'll probably unleash on the hunchback here. Keep him, uh, keep him pretty damaged. Uh, we're going to shut down if we do that. Uh, we're still going to shut down if we do that. Maybe we'll just go with the medium lasers. We'll overheat. That's fine. Couple of rounds of that. We're not into any structure, so we're probably pretty good to just give them, give it some heat damage. We're going to get into punch anyway, so I would love for some tree cover here. Get you down here. Oh, Kraken in the trebuchet. I still want to call it a trencher butt. I don't know why. But uh, that is how my marbles work. All right, we're not going to overheat with this. This is quite nice. So let's give him a bit of, bit of the old one-two. All right, his arm is nearly gone from the chest. In fact, it is gone. Excellent. What is the Jagamek going to do? It's going to trundle around in here, and it's going to have a go at Sumo. Sumo is getting a little concerned. Ooh, that left torso. Hmm. It did not enjoy your left torso, apparently. That ah, didn't hurt. All right, witness. Uh, if we can get you around here somewhere, I can continue to fire on his side. Would like to get... Well, oh, that's not great, is it? Fortunately, that mech is right in the way. So we have to get pretty up close and personal here, or we can just shoot you in the back. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I think we're just gonna... We're gonna give him the punch. 35, though. 35. We could just fire this for more damage. Two of these would do more damage. Okay. Okay, we're not doing that. I think we'll just uh, we'll wear him down a little from the flank. It's not the greatest of shots, but uh, it'll do. Let's, uh, let's give him the old fire here. Uh, we don't want to overheat. We'll just fire. Oh, man, you overheat by quite a lot, don't you? We'll just give him the one. I should have punched him. I knew I should have punched him. 25 damage is garbage. I could have done uh, 35 plus all my heat back. Oh, well. Nearly always... Oh, pff, nearly always melee is better if you're only going to be firing a few weapons, right? Uh, so we're going to come down and we're going to punch this guy square in the jaw. Hopefully we can get him down. So we'll save all of our heat here. We definitely need heat back because we are... Well, we're cooking. We are cooking. But we're good looking, so that's all right. Two. No. That's crazy. Crazy. Crazy talk. Uh, we're going to come in and punch the Jager from the side here. I don't suppose I can multi-target, can I? That would be cool. I think you should be able to do that. Uh, we're going to turn that off, though. Um, punch him from the side. That sounds good to me. And what we'll do is Sumo is going to drop some rockets on this guy. Because I reckon we can finish him off with just that. Whoa, that was a big old shake to the side. Evasion is lost. Good for you. So if we move in here, we're going to have a really crap chance to hit him with rockets. But it should be enough to kill this guy. So we can move up and fire. Uh, we're going to shut down. Just one. All right, just one. So we only really need one rocket to hit him. We've got 45% chance. 15 rockets. Come on. Tell me. Tell me it ain't so. It's like a steam bath in there. Just relax, buddy. Just relax. Whoop. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I did say that the uh, Jake can do a lot of damage, and he can do a serious amount of damage, right? Witness. Just... Oh, Witness, you're probably not going to finish him, are you? I feel like maybe if you move... Actually, you know what, Witness? Move around to the side, and we're going to probably give him some SRMs. We've got a 1 in 4 chance that with the, to kill him with this. Well, we just need one to hit him, right? Just one. We could probably give him a laser as well. Another laser. Overheat. Go for it. You just need one thing to hit. One thing to hit. There we go. Nicely done. He is popping off all over the shop. Just chunks of him just flying out. See you later, sir. All right, so now we're going to just wear down this Jagamek. And uh, like all good Jagamex, it does not like getting punched because as soon as you pop things off it, it is 
ACs and oh my. That was a big old punch. Craziness. We just punched him in the face and he just died. He just went crunch. That is unreal. So there is the strat you can run instead of all the catapults. You can run the trebuchets. And the Jenna was pretty good. Actually, I like the Jenna. Uh, not bad. You know, I can spot the medium lasers. He's got some heat issues, but overall not bad. We didn't lose a single thing. Not a single thing. We lost a lot of ammo, but hardly anything else. The commando, he had a real bad day. He was just running for days. Missiles dropping around him. It was insane. Poor guy. And with that, I think we'll take a break. Tune in next time. More adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.